Hi, welcome into our gentle flow. So today I've got my strap, my blocks, and my blanket. So take your time to grab any and all props that you might want, and then we'll come into a comfortable seat and get started. Once you find yourself in a seat, as always on your sits bones, on your shins, maybe you start in a chair, invitation to close your eyes. If that feels safe in your body and in the environment that you're practicing in. And slowly and gently start to bring your awareness into your breath body. Noticing perhaps any fluctuations in sensation as you bring the air in through your nose. And send the air back out through your nose. You may start to notice that your breath gets a little bit longer on the inhale and that you can exhale a little bit more fully as you breathe out. Exploring the edges of your breath, the full capacity of your lungs. And tapping into this tool to settle into your practice and into your body today. Take three more full cycles of breath in through your nose. And exhale out through your nose. Inhale. And exhale. One more here, full inhale. And a full exhale. Invitation to connect your palms at your heart center. And take these next few moments to connect in with your personal intention for your practice or your outward dedication today. Take another deep breath in through your nose. And as you're ready, exhale out with a sigh. If your palms are lifted, slowly release your hands back down towards your legs. Eyes are closed. You can slowly start to open the lids of your eyes. And we'll go ahead and get started. Bring your hands down by your sides, left and right. So lift up through your torso. And as you inhale, sweep your arms all the way up and overhead. Palms may or may not connect, but once you get to the top, flip your palms out, bring your fingertips down to the floor, tuck your chin to your chest, elongate the back of your neck. And two more times like that. Full inhale as you reach all the way up. As you exhale, flip your palms out, take a big reach, bring your fingers to the floor, bring your chin towards your chest. One more here, inhale to lengthen. And exhale to lower. Keep your fingers to the floor, keep your chin down and then slowly start to drop one ear towards one shoulder. 
And then retrace your line back down through center as you start to bring your other ear towards your other shoulder. So take this at your own pace, noticing how as you drop left to right, how the upper back, your shoulders might be feeling sensation in different areas. Maybe you feel it down into your mid or lower back. The next time you bring your chin down through center, allow it to stay there for just a moment. And then lift up from the back of your head so you're coming back up to a neutral spine, neutral gaze. Inhale your left arm up and overhead, take a walk over to the right for your lateral stretch. Stay here and breathe or you can bend into your top elbow, bring your hand to the nape of your neck. So I'm kind of holding on where my neck is. to turn your gaze towards the ceiling, causing that top left shoulder to lift up and back. And take a full breath in. And a full breath out. Two more. If your left elbow is bent, gently start to re-extend through your arm. Lift up from your fingertips, come all the way up to center, both fingers to the floor, take a full breath in. And an audible exhale out. Inhale your right arm up and overhead, start to walk over to the left this time. And again, you might take your lateral stretch with an extended arm. You can bend into your top elbow, bring your hand down towards the nape of your neck once more, stay with a neutral gaze, or perhaps you start to rotate your gaze up. Again, that'll probably cause that top right shoulder to lift up and back a little bit. And breathe. On your next inhalation, re-extend your arm if it's bent. Lift your right fingertips all the way up, slide back up to neutral, fingers to the floor, neutral gaze, full breath in. And a full breath out. Inhale your arms all the way up and overhead. This time interlace your fingers, little bend to your elbows as you flip your palms up. Take an inhale for spinal extension. As you exhale, contract your navel, roll forward. So you're really rounding through the entirety of your back body. Inhale, lift back up to center. Gaze can be neutral. Maybe you look up if that feels okay. And exhale, contract your navel, roll forward. One more time here. Inhale, press your sits bones down, lift your arms up. And exhale as you round. And come back up to a neutral spine. Release the bind of your fingers. Take your arms nice and wide. One more time here. Chin to your chest, fingers to the floor. And then inhale, lift your gaze back up to neutral. Go ahead, extend both of your legs long in front of you. And I've been utilizing my strap lately in a lot of my folds, playing around with keeping my upper body um, more or less elongated. So I'm gonna keep doing that today. If you wanna play around with that, you can do that as well. So both legs will be out about hip width distance apart. You can take your strap around the ball of your feet. I also find that this can help draw the toes forward or back. So you kind of play around with how much you wanna draw your toes back. And that's gonna to help to elongate through the calf muscles. Once you've got your strap in place, lift up through your torso, lightly engage your low belly so that your abdominals draw in and up for support. And this might be where you want to stay. As you exhale, soft bend to your knees. And again, stay upright or you start to hinge forward, keeping a long torso, keeping your gaze forward. Now bringing it up into the upper body, see if you can drop your shoulders away 
away from your ears. So notice if you're kind of rounding forward, what would happen if you drop your shoulders down and back, lengthen through your upper torso, contract your navel and let the movement come from the pivot of your hip points. And then breathe into the calves, breathe into your hamstrings. We have three more here. As you inhale, start to re-extend, come all the way back up to neutral. Release the strap from your left foot. Take your right foot slightly to the upper right, bend into your left knee. So you have the sole of your foot onto the inside line of your thigh. Let your left knee drop to the block or floor. Turn your torso a little bit over towards the right. Then again, if you're using the strap, figure out how much you wanna pull back on your big toe mound, pinky toe mound. So you're finding more or less equal drawback on either side. Take a full breath in to elongate. And as you exhale, again, start to hinge over just your extended leg. Now you might need to walk yourself down onto the strap. Maybe you grab your toes here, but again, what would it feel like to find that length in your upper body, sturdiness in your core and elongation in the leg? Three more here. And slowly start to unravel back up to center, release the strap from your right foot. Set that off to the side for a moment, turn your torso to neutral. Bring the sole of your left foot to the floor, bring your right foot into about neutral again. And then take your right arm around, take your left arm behind you for your twist. Lengthen on the inhalation. And as you exhale, start to rotate to the left. Now you might take some time to adjust here. And again, notice what happens if you're rolling forward. Maybe you unravel a little bit to lift up, find that length and draw your shoulders gently down and back. Four full breaths here. And slowly start to bring yourself all the way back to neutral. Take your left foot over to the right, but you're gonna put the pinky blade of your foot onto the floor. So the sole of your left foot is slightly lifted. That way your left knee can drop down. So I'm not keeping it high, I'm dropping it down. Option to utilize your strap again, wrap it around the ball of your right foot. Inhale as you lengthen, stay here and breathe or exhale, start to fold over your extended right leg and your bent left leg. And we'll stay here for four. And start to lift yourself back up to center. Remove your strap once more. Bring the sole of your left foot to the floor, followed by the sole of your right foot. Slide off of your blanket or towel if you're on it. Hands to the ground, lift up, find that extension, and then stay there or a couple windshield wipers left and right. Make your way back to center. Walk yourself back up onto any supports you might be utilizing. Take both of your legs out long again. Second round of Paschimottanasana, with or without your strap. Take your time to set up. Draw 
your toes back, engage through your quadriceps, lengthen through the backs of your legs. Inhale. Stay upright or soft bend to your knees. Take the hinge from your hip points opposed to the back and breathe. And take another full breath in through your nose. Maybe an exhale out with a sigh. <sighs> Inhale, start to lengthen yourself back up. Release the strap from your right foot. Take your left leg to the upper left. Bend into your right knee, sole of your foot onto the inside line of that left leg. Drop your right knee to the floor or a block. And then find that slight rotation. Reactivate your extended left leg. Inhale. And as you exhale, start to fold forward over just that left leg. Again, take your time. Adjust on the strap if you're utilizing it. And breathe. Start to unravel, bring yourself back up to center. Sole of your right foot to the floor. Walk your left leg in so it's again about neutral. Set your strap off to the side for the time being. Left arm gives you the squeeze, right arm reaches behind. Lengthen on the right, adjust accordingly as you go. Lengthen the space in your neck. Drop your shoulders away from your ears and breathe. Slowly start to bring your gaze and your torso back to center. This time, take your right foot over to the left. Again, pinky blade to the floor so the sole of my right foot is slightly lifted. Option to utilize your strap again if you want to wrap that around the ball of your left foot. Inhale to lengthen. Stay upright here. You might start to hinge over your extended left leg, your bent right knee, and breathe. One more inhale. And exhale. <sighs> inhale, bring yourself all the way back up to center. Release your strap. Set that off to the side. Bring your right foot to the floor. Bend into your left knee, left foot to the floor. Slide to the ground once more. Hands slightly down behind you. Lift up through your torso and second round of windshield wipers here if you'd like to take them. Okay, the next time you come through center, go ahead, stay there, move anything that's behind you so that you can come all the way down onto the floor. Have a block nearby. Actually, if you want to have your blocks, I'm going to set mine up on my left and right hand sides about hip height, but a little bit further out. And this will be for a foot to fall to a little bit later if you want to take that variation. So go ahead, take your time to find the floor, set up your props, make sure your strap is within reach. 
And once you find yourself on the floor, give yourself a moment for your torso and your hips and low back to kind of settle in, having had to hold your body up, now feeling the support of a reclined position. We're gonna keep it in the legs for a little bit. So keep your right knee bent, go ahead, extend your left leg long onto the floor, find your strap. Wrap the strap around the ball of your right foot and extend your heel towards the ceiling. And take your time to play around with how much you wanna draw back, bringing that sensation into your calf muscle. Just as much as you flex through your right foot, flex through your left foot too. So you've got the energy out of both feet. Stay here for three full cycles of breath. Bring both of the tails of your strap into just your right hand. Take your left hand either to your hip point, I like to use that as an anchor, or you can take it off to the side. Take a full breath and keep the extension through your heels. And as you exhale, start to take your right foot over to the right. When you notice that left hip starts to come up, that's where you wanna stay and breathe. And that's why you have that block there. If you wanna bring your leg down to a block, that could feel good. You might keep your leg nice and high. So again, finding what works for you in this practice. And we'll stay for three. As you move into your third exhalation, send your breath out, draw your belly down towards the floor for that core engagement to help you as you bring your right leg back up to center. Take a full breath in, grab both of the tails of your strap. And as you exhale, bend your knee so the sole of your foot stays to the ceiling. You draw your knee towards your chest. And then exhale, create a little bit of tension as you push your right foot back up to the ceiling. And go ahead, inhale, bend to draw your knee into the chest. Exhale, press away. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press. One more time, inhale, bend. Exhale, press. This time, take the tails of your strap into just your left hand. Right hand can come out to a T, palm faces down. Full breath in. As you exhale, start to take your right leg over to the left. Now you're gonna roll over onto your left hip so your low back's gonna lift. Option to stay nice and high. Maybe you come down onto a block. Keep extending through both of your feet and breathe into your twist. Take an inhale. As you exhale, again, contract your navel, use the support of your strap and, and the foot all the way back up to center. This time, bend into your knee, let your heel drop down, release your strap, hug your right knee into your chest, followed by your left knee. Some single rocks, some circular motions, or the opportunity to stay in stillness. And slowly bring it back to center. If you are taking movement, both of your feet to the floor for a moment, palms down by your sides, full breath in. Noticing any exhale, any differences on the exhale as you breathe out. One more here. Extend your right leg long, bring it all the way down to the floor. Find your strap, wrap it around the ball of your left foot, send your left heel towards the ceiling. Again, take your time to set this up. Draw your left toes back, send your right heel forward so you're energizing through both legs. And then breathe into the backside of your extended legs. 
notice if that left hip, I kind of notice sometimes it lifts. What would happen if you draw your left hip down? That simple action of drawing the left hip down might create a little more space in your outer hip and your hamstring. So just playing around with really subtle movements, micro movements, and how that could shift and adjust the shape. And take another full breath in. And a full breath out. Take both of the tails of your strap into only your left hand. Right hand either comes down towards your right hip, or again, you might take it out to a T. Inhale as you prep. And on the exhale, take your left leg over to the left. When your right hip starts to lift, that's the indicator that you want to pause and breathe. Use the strength of extending through your heels or really using your whole leg left and right. And take another inhale. As you exhale, find that core contraction, support yourself as you come back up to center. Take both of the tails of your strap into each hand. Again, keep a flex into your feet. And as you inhale, bend your knee in, keep the sole of your foot towards the ceiling. As you exhale, create some traction as you push nice and strong back up to the ceiling. Three more times, inhale, bend. Exhale, push away. Yes, two more, here we go. Inhale. Strong exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Take both of your straps into only your right hand, left arm out to the side, palm faces down. Full breath in, extend through your heels. As you exhale, left foot moves over to the right. Again, you're gonna probably roll over so that your low back is going to be lifted. And then stay with this extension, keep it bringing some awareness into the core, into your legs, deep breath in. And stay in the sensation on the breath out. Three more. As you exhale, contract through your center, bring your left leg all the way back up. Gently bend into your left knee, set your strap to the side, bend into your right knee, both knees towards your chest, stay in stillness, take some rocks or maybe you take some circles. Start to bring yourself all the way back to neutral. Flex into your heels again. Send your legs up towards the ceiling without your strap. Bring your arms down by your sides and press firmly to the ground. Let's go ahead, point your toes this time. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, just lower your right leg down as far as is comfortable before your low back starts to lift up and then engage your core in order to bring your right leg back up to center. Exhale, send your left leg down. Inhale back to center. So that's the flow, take it at your pace. Slowly extend one leg. Exhale, bring it back to center. Inhale, drop. Exhale, center. Twice more on each side. Last one.
Keep both of your legs lifted, flex back into your heels, take your arms up towards the ceiling. We're going to take opposite hand to opposite foot. So as you exhale, take your right pinky finger up towards your left pinky toe and then come back to center. Exhale, left hand towards the right foot and center. Now, if that is causing any pain in your neck, bring your hands behind your head and you can bring your left, or excuse me, right elbow in the direction of your left pinky toe and center. Left elbow towards your right pinky toe and center. Twice more each side. Exhale the crunch. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. One more time. Come back to center, release your hands to the floor, bend your knees, hug your knees towards your chest. And last time here are some circles, some rocks or stillness. Bring your knees back to center, release both of your feet to the floor, roll over to one side or the other, come all the way up and we'll go right into a tabletop position. Option to set up a blanket underneath you for support. And then I'm going to move my blocks. So now they're at the top of my mat, left and right hand side. So I have access to those in a little while. Once you find your tabletop stabilized through your arms, your core, and your lower body by connecting to the floor, drawing the navel in and up. As you find that stability, inhale, drop your belly, lengthen front to back. And as you exhale, find a rounding of the back. And three more as you move through your cow and cat, full breath in. Full breath out. Two more, inhale. Exhale. And last one here. And come to a neutral spine. Hips are going to stay nice and stacked over your knees. Walk your hands forward, preparing for Anahatasana. Find the core engagement, send your hip points back, forehead starts to drop down towards your floor or your block. Now, if you notice a lot of compression in your low back, here's where you wanna find that front body engagement to lengthen through your low back area, particularly in your lumbar. Push into your palms, maybe you tent up onto your fingertips, breathe into your underarms, breathe into the backs of your shoulder blades. <sighs> We'll stay here for three. Strongly press down into your palms, start to lift yourself up just enough that you can roll forward, transitioning all the way down onto your belly. Slide your hands underneath your shoulders. Elbows are going to draw in. Option to lift and lower your legs, finding a little bit more length in the front of your hip points. Press the tops of your feet down and then inhale up to your baby cobra. Exhale, release back down to the floor. Inhale as you lift. Exhale to lower. This time as you lift, inhale. Stay here, maybe you lift your palms. Exhale, palms to the floor, forehead to the floor, tuck your toes underneath, inhales, prep. Exhale, firm press down all the way up to a tabletop and then keep it going as you unravel up and back down dog. So in your down dog, really think of dropping that heart space back, drawing your low abdominals in and up. So we're still connecting in with the core. So same thing in, in, as an Anahatasana, we wanna connect the front body to lengthen the back body. 
Take a soft bend to your knees. Think of sending your heels down just as much as you lift your hip points up. So if I'm curling in, I'm gonna lift the hip points up just as much as I send my heels down. And so maybe this changes, <laughs> just thinking all the down dogs we do. And then changing up the little micro movements, finding what can make this shape feel different. What can make it feel new perhaps for you. Start to send your gaze forward. Walk yourself all the way to the front of your mat. Take your time to get there, Uttanasana. Spread out through your toes. Inhale up through a half lift. Find a little length. And then exhale. Find that hinge in your hips. Contract through your front body as you fold back down. We'll do that two more times. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale as you take your fold. One more time, inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Bend to your knees, shift the weight back, press down, rise all the way up, palms connect high. And as you exhale, bring your hands to your heart, release down Tadasana. Inhale, arms up and overhead, bend into opposite elbows, lengthen. And as you exhale, hinge at your hips, start to fold forward. Or you're gonna bend your knees like you're taking a chair pose. Hold here for one breath. And then release your palms, reach your palms back so you're in your skiers pose. Inhale, press down, reach up. Exhale, bend back to skiers. Two more times, inhale to lengthen. Exhale to bend. Last one, use the strength of your legs. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend. Stay here in your skiers for a full breath in. As you exhale, send your hips up, bring your hands down to the floor, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift. Palms to the ground, step just your right leg back. Drop your knee, tuck or untuck your toes. I'm going to walk my blocks back so I have access to them. And then press down, rise up to your low lunge position. Actively press into your front foot. Start to bring the awareness into your back leg. Sorry, just adjusting my knee there. And as you inhale, lengthen your arms up. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. One more inhale. As you exhale, release your hands down to the floor or blocks. Tuck your back right toes. Send your hips back. And now I'm going to lengthen through my left leg. So I've got my toes drawing back. Just as much as you lengthen back, lengthen forward. So again, I'm not going to round my back. I'm going to lengthen. Full breath in. And a breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, rebend your left knee, lift up on the right knee, and then pivot to the long edge of your mat. You can bring your blocks with you. So you're in a wide leg straddle. Option to bring your blocks a little lower if you'd like. Take an inhale. Exhale, start to find a wide leg forward fold of your choice. Hands can come to the floor or to blocks. And breathe. And slowly push down to the floor, bring your hands and or your blocks out from underneath you. Start to pivot back to the front of your mat, low runner's lunge. Look forward, find your length. Step your back foot to meet your front foot, Uttanasana forward fold. Inhale to your half lift. Exhale, hands to the floor, step your left leg all the way back. Drop your back knee, tuck or untuck your toes, press down to your front foot, inhale, lengthen up to your low lunge. So up to you how high or low you wanna go, but really thinking of using your legs for stability here, pushing down just as much as you reach up.
Take another full breath in. As you exhale, release your hands down to the floor or your blocks. Tuck your back left toes if they're not there already and then send your hips back, extending your right leg. So I've got my toes really pulling back. And then as my hips go back, my heart is gonna go forward. So again, I'm thinking of drawing the shoulder blades down, elongating through my torso. Take a full breath in here. And out. Two more, inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Rebend into your front right knee, sole of your foot to the floor. Lift up through your back left leg. And again, pivot to the long edge of your mat, option to bring those blocks with you for the ride. Set your blocks down to the floor if you're using them. And then bring your left hand a little bit underneath your shoulder, uh, slightly under your nose, so a little bit at an angle. Right hand comes to your low back sacrum, fingertips face back. Tailbone back, gaze forward, inhale. Exhale, take a twist over to the right. Option to stay here and breathe, or you might choose to take your back arm up towards the ceiling. Full breath in. Full breath out. One more, inhale. Exhale, bring your top arm back down to the ground and we'll swap sides. So this time right hand a little bit at an angle, more or less underneath your nose. You can play around with that. Left hand to your low back, fingertips back. Send your hips back, send your gaze forward. That's gonna probably cause you to lift up and out of that shoulder joint. Take a breath in. Exhale, start to rotate your torso over to the left. Stay here and breathe or take your arm up towards the ceiling. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. Gently release your top arm all the way back down towards the floor or your blocks. Lengthen, pivot to the front of your mat so you're taking a low runner's lunge. Set your blocks off to the side, hands come down to the floor, look forward and lengthen. But this time, step your front foot to meet your back foot high plank. Shift forward, lower down your choice with or without your knees. Untuck your toes, lift up to a baby cobra or a cobra. Either forehead to the floor or tuck your toes all the way up and back, downward facing dog, and we'll stay here for four cycles of breath. Look forward, walk forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Hands to your hips, bend your knees, press down, rise tall, Tadasana, mountain pose. Shift the weight into your right foot. Option to bring the left toes to the, to the floor, or you might hug your left knee in towards your chest. If you have the left knee in towards your chest, option to with to you if you want to play with the point or the flex kind of play around with what you want to do with your foot stay here and breathe work the balance straight forward or take your right hand to your left leg take your left hand and start to sweep it somewhere behind you for the rotation wherever you are three full breath cycles Slowly start to unravel if you're playing with the twist. Release your left foot down to the floor. Option to stay in Tadasana or widen your stance. Turn your toes out a little bit and maybe take some bends. <clears throat> Shake it out. 
Okay, when you're ready, make your way back to center. Okay, let's take it to the other side. Hands onto your hips, shift the weight into your left foot, right toes to the floor, right knee towards your chest. If you're taking that, again, play around. Do you want to point? Do you want to flex? Stay here and breathe, or take your left hand to your right leg. Take your right hand somewhere behind you, moving to the twist. And again, three full rounds of breath. If you're twisting, come back to center. If your leg is lifted, release your leg back down to the floor. Again, option to stay here in stillness or widen your stance slightly and take a little bit of a circle or a rock. Okay, if you're not at the front of your mat, make your way back there. Find Tadasana, palms down, shoulders down, feet connected. Inhale to lift. Exhale, soft bend to your knees. Take the hinge at your hips, points, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, palms to the ground. Step one foot back, then the other high plank. Drop your knees, crisscross your ankles or sweep your feet and come back to a seat. Option to find your blanket again. If you've got props all over the place like I do, go ahead, find your blanket. Come up onto your blanket and then Baddha Konasana. Soles of your feet together, knees drop wide. Perhaps you bring some blocks under your knees for support. Maybe you start to walk yourself forward with a wide base. Maybe you walk yourself forward by holding onto your feet and connecting in that way. So up to you. Gently press the pinky blades together as your big toe mounds separate. And breathe. Inhale all the way back up to center. Use your hands to draw your knees and soles of your feet to the floor, and then take both of your legs out wide. So instead of a standing forward fold, we're gonna move into a seated forward fold, draw back onto your toes, lift up through your heart space. And again, think of taking that hinge at your hip points. So tailbone back, heart forward, and you might use blocks here underneath your hands. Maybe you use them underneath your forearms. And five cycles of breath. The base of your fifth breath cycle, gently start to walk yourself back up. Set your blocks off to the side, bend into both of your knees and come to a seat. So we'll take the next two minutes in organic movement. As always, this is what you need. It might be from a seated position. It might be from a reclined position. So take your time. Um, Take your time to settle in. I'll keep track of time and then I'll let you know when we're about halfway through. So that way, if you want to do any swap overs, if you're doing asymmetrical work, you can have time. All right. So we'll start counting right about now.
We're about halfway through if you'd like to make any adjustments or switch sides if you're doing asymmetrical work. And we're coming to the end of our second minute. And so if you feel like you still need some movement, please, by all means, continue to move. If you're feeling ready for your rest and integration, take your time to come onto the floor in a reclined position, perhaps constructive rest or Shavasana, or if you wanna close in a seated meditation, take your time to set up on blocks or on a blanket so that you're comfortable. I will come in and mute myself for the duration of Shavasana so that you can have some silence and then let yourself have these next few moments in rest. Let your breath and your body integrate and give yourself a moment of silence.
And slowly start to bring your awareness back into your breath body. And as you begin to bring your breath in and out through your nose once more, noticing how your body instinctively responds by expanding and contracting. And as your body finds the subtle and gentle movement, invitation to incorporate more conscious movement. If you're lying down, invitation to stay here, or you may start to roll over to your favorite side. And press down into your palms in order to slowly rise all the way back up to a seat. And as you find yourself in a seated position once more, invitation to again bring your hands to your heart space. And take a deep breath in through your nose. And an audible breath out through your mouth. And thank you for taking the time to breathe, to connect in with your body and your practice. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.